Back on the Anglers Extra pregame show from Veterans Field, time for Catch of the Day. I'm Drew Carter, now joined by Chatham pitcher Adam Wolf. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing pretty well, thank you. One and two thirds scoreless yesterday. What'd you think? Um, I just thought it was a pretty well thrown game from all four of the pitchers, and the offense got it done. A couple home runs. I know one from Fabian. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So it was a uh, it was a good game all around by the Anglers. He's nearly had another home run with Shea Langler's out in center field, that catch flipping over the wall. Have you ever seen anything like that? That was the single best catch I've ever seen in my <laughs> entire life. I don't know how it wasn't number one on Sports Center. <laughs> we couldn't believe it either. Number four, come on, you're killing us. All right, jam work for you. You came in with the bases loaded, only one down in a one nothing game. What type of pressure is that when you take them out? Um, I, I guess I, I learned to kind of enjoy those situations throughout the year because came into a couple of those throughout the season at Louisville, and I just I felt more comfortable out there with the bases loaded than I have in the past. Like, it's nice, it's a good feeling. Another high leverage situation for you at Louisville pitching in Omaha, what was that like? Uh, it was incredible. I had to just stop and look around a little bit because it was just unlike any experience I've ever had. Yeah. And you guys actually did something special for the College World Series. Can you take off your hat for a second and show us the hair? That is gorgeous. What do you think of the blonde hair? I personally like it. I mean, it kind of looked like a, I'm trying to think a little Justin Timberlake, Backstreet Boy action, but like, yeah, you know, I don't know. It's Getting used to it. The coach actually did it too, right? <laughs> he did, yes. He, did, he didn't didn't go all in. He got it like at a salon, like you know. I got I had like Colby Fitz do mine in the in the in the locker room, so mine was all out there. <laughs> and Dan McConnell, your coach, is actually going to be here tonight. What's that like to have him at a game? Um, it's just interesting seeing him in the yeah. summer. Like he's kind of on vacation with his wife, so it's funny seeing that side of him. But uh, he's coming around, seeing all the guys, taking us out to lunch tomorrow. So I'm excited. You know where you're going yet? Uh, we're going to Cream and Cone in oh, Dennis, okay. actually, I think. So that'll be kind of, that'll be fun. <laughs> Very cool. We'll enjoy that. You've actually got a couple Louisville teammates out here on the Cape, including Josh Stowers. What's it like to have your teammates out here on the Cape this summer? Oh, it's just nice being able to see them every couple days. Like Sam Bordner's on this team. Uh, hopefully I can see him pitch today. So it's just nice being able to see guys and follow how they're doing this summer. And playing at Louisville, you're playing against some of the best competition in the country. What's the difference between the Cape League and the ACC? Uh, the Cape League, every single hitter is a three or four hole guy. Every single guy out here is a stud. The ACC is a good conference, but the Cape is just incredible watching guys. Well, you made pretty quick work of these guys, uh, not yesterday, a couple days ago against Bourne. Four strikeouts against five batters you faced. What was working for you? Um, I've been working on a cutter this summer, so I got a couple guys with that. That, was, that, was, that felt really good. And Fabian was calling a good game back there, so that was, it was nice. It was, it was fun. We were in sync. Is the cutter new this summer? It is, yes. I've actually never thrown in a game before, so we're trying to figure that out as we're going. <laughs> you actually have a pretty, I guess, unique ro rotation because your arms are so long. Is that something you feel like helps you out on the mound? I think it definitely helps a little bit, uh, having some length, getting down the mound. But honestly, I just anything I can do that helps, <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of several many tall guys out in the bullpen. Are you actually the tallest guy in the bullpen? I like to think so. I think. <laughs> Jeff Belge and maybe Joe Einhart might disagree, but I think I'm the tallest. Now, speaking of Jeff Belge, you actually traded some equipment with him. This glove you're holding right now is Jeff Belge's. What was the trade there? I traded a sweatshirt, two shirts from last year, and an arm sleeve like this one for the glove. And I think I came out way ahead. Well, I would agree with that. I would agree. Now, you guys, last question for you here. In the bullpen, a lot of rest for you guys. Only three appearances in 13 days for you now. What's it like having that much rest between appearances? Um. I mean, I, I love being out on the mound as much as I can, but like we have to keep our rest. We have to make sure we're fresh when we're in there. So we keep it loose down there. You know, we're all, we're always joking around with each other. The bullpen's a different different breed of human beings out there. So I enjoy it. All right, Adam. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you very much. Adam Wolf, tremendous in the win against Bourne a couple nights ago. Chatham pitchers, 28 scoreless innings. We'll see if they can keep that streak alive against Brewster tonight at Veterans Field. Now more Angers Extra pregame with Max Herves.